everyone welcome back to our channel thank you guys so much for the support we appreciate it we're growing little by little and couldn't do it without you guys today's video will be what is in my nursing bag I'm gonna be showing you guys what brands are good how much everything costs so everything that I will be showing you today will be linked in my Amazon store so down below we're gonna put the link so you guys can click on it and go ahead and shop so you guys can use what I use in your nursing bags First and foremost, we have our nursing bags. This is the bag I've been using for a while now. This is a Hopkins medical bag. Um, I love it so much. It's so durable and it has so many compartments and the compartments are specific for nursing items. This bag you can find on Amazon. That's where I bought mine. I bought it for about $80 and I just looked and it is currently still $80. And if you can have Prime, you can get it in about two days. So I'll show you guys a look in the bag and how many compartments there are. So on the bag, on both sides, the front and the back, it has what looks like this. Pretty much each little side has like these Ziploc bags and I've organized it to wear specific things. Like I'll have my Mepilexes, I'll have my Tegaderms, I'll have different dressings, I'll have my um, Q-tips, my tongue depressors. And then here I'll have more of my creams, my camoseptine, my lubricating jelly. So I have it organized pretty good. And also on the bottom, if you guys can see, I have um, other medications and some alcohol wipes and some band-aids and some seri strips. But what's cool is like there's so many compartments you can organize and it's easy access. You get to a patient's house, you open it, you go through the Ziploc baggie, pull what you need, and then you zip it back up. So I'll show you guys the other side as well. So on the sides of the bags, they have these bigger compartments. Um, I carry a hand sanitizer on one side, but you, what's also cool is you can fit a sharps container. The smaller sharps container, they're about square. They can fit right there if you're doing a lot of injections. So that's really cool. On the other side, I kind of carry my wound care scissors and I'll carry a bunch of alcohol wipes to wipe stuff down or if I'm doing glucose checks or if I'm doing PT and INRs. So that's how I kind of have it organized and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the other side right now as well. So we have the other side of the bag. What's cool is it has this compartment. What I use this for is pretty much my wound measurement plastic see-through tool. You can find this on Amazon. This is about $5 and this is reusable. Instead of using the paper measurement, um, like little paper, I don't know what they're called, you can use this and you can wipe it down. So that's super cool. Also Hopkins has this kind of barrier mat. You can use it for your bag or you can also use it for your tools, for your blood pressure cuff, for your whatever you're using for the patient. So you don't have to set it like on their couch or on their table. This is kind of a barrier to keep your stuff clean. Um, this is about $50 on Amazon as well. And also you can put paperwork in here, whatever you want. And then we have another side, our compartment. Obviously more compartments here. I have some insulin needles. I have some flushes. This is the side that I keep my gloves. I put them in a baggie. More compartments for dressings. And I have some more down here. Another cool thing about this bag is these little inserts. Sometimes they might, over the years, they might rip up here. You can buy these individually, as many inserts as you want and replace them throughout the years. So if they do break, it's not that serious. I've only had about two, I messed up the zipper. But yeah, you can go online and then reorder these and you can throw them in here. It's kind of like a little binder ring situation down here. So that's super helpful and super cool. Another compartment that we have is the middle compartment. This is our biggest compartment and it's gonna hold a lot of your essential nursing tools. So that would be your blood pressure cuff, your thermometer, your O2 stat, some normal saline, some gauze. So I'll show you guys what I mean. I'll do a closer view inside so you guys can see how I organize it. And I do wanna make a note that you're not gonna fit everything in one medical bag. That's why you have your trunk and you should have a bin inside of it. So when you get to each patient's house, whatever you need for that appointment, whether it be wound care, you take stuff out of your bag and you add stuff in specific for that patient. So you're just not carrying everything. You kind of want to carry your essentials and your basics. Um, and then as you get to each patient, you adjust from there. So first and foremost, 
the most important thing we have is our blood pressure cuff. This is the Omron blood pressure cuff. It's automatic. And this is on Amazon for about $35. Um, I also do have a manual because sometimes if this doesn't work or if this breaks or if you want it super accurate or if the doctor's order requires a manual blood pressure check, I do have my manual inside the trunk as well. But I use this one. Also next we have our O2 stat. So you put it on the finger and it reads your oxygen level and it reads the patient's um, heart rate as well. This is on Amazon for about $20, $25. They have different colors. Um, they have fun ones. I just got a black one. And we have our thermometer. I got this on Amazon for about $40. It's called iHealth and it works super good. This was my original um, thermometer, but I wanted a new one and I felt this one worked a little bit better, but I have two just in case. Then I also do have my own blood sugar checker. I bought this on Amazon. I believe all of this was about $25 or $30 as well. Just in case, most patients who are diabetics have their own, but sometimes if they run out of finger sticks, if they run out of anything, we just use mine. Or obviously in emergency situations, you get to a patient's house and things are going wrong and they're not alert and oriented to tell you where theirs are. You at least have yours in your bag and you could start to assess. Next is we have our gauze. I always keep a pack of four by fours for wound care. I also carry a couple um, curlics. So this is mostly for like wound cares on the leg or on the arms. We wrap them in curlics. <laughs> I have a urine specimen cup. If the doctor orders um, a urine specimen, we collect it or the lab will pick it up from the patient's house to, you know, to check if they have like a UTI. I also have some Coban, which you guys, if you watched my last video, you see what we use Coban for. And then I also carry some baby oil. Why I carry baby oil is um, as you get older, our skin gets drier and when I'm doing wound care on the patient, no matter where it is, whether it's the arm, the back, the legs, the feet, a lot of their skin is a little dry and flaky and I hate to see that. So I don't put this directly on the wound, I put it around the wound so at least the skin looks hydrated, it's smoother. Um, especially diabetics, their feet are really like dry and they crack so I'll put this on their feet so it helps a lot baby oil another important item that i have in my bag is from the american red cross it's a pocket mask for cpr for an emergency reason you get these actually they give them out to you for free when you do your cpr or your aed classes so it's very important to have one of these in your bag for home health as well so i have a bottle of saline in the bag have my 4x4 gauze, I'll kind of put that at the bottom, squeeze that in there, nice and snug. I have my trash bags for when you do wound care, you fill them in a nice tidy little bag. Then I have my Coban and I have my urine cups, kind of squeeze in there. Baby oil, I'll go ahead and put that on the side. Blood glucose, blood pressure cuff, thermometer and my pulse socks right on top because those are the things you use the most. Put my ruler back on that side of the back and it looks like it won't fit but it fits. Everything that I showed you guys in this video from my bag, all home health agencies sadly do not supply you with these tools. Um, you have to get the blood pressure cuff, your thermometer, your glucose monitor, everything on your own. So I found that it was way cheaper to buy them from Amazon than to go to like a medical supply store or buy it from like a medical supply company. Um, save your coins. This video is not sponsored as well. Maybe in the future it might be, but these are just all my tools that I've been using and that work really well. So hopefully um, you guys can buy them and they'll work good for you guys too. My next video will be what is in my trunk and how I organize it, all my nursing supplies. It looks like I literally have a Rite Aid or a CVS in my trunk, no joke. So I'll be showing you guys that video very soon. 
thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video thank you guys bye